Local productions seen on Delta College Public Media are made possible with support from viewers like you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Dateline Delta. I'm Dave Morley, a member of the Delta College Foundation Board of Directors. On today's show, we'll start with a couple of interviews, one with our new Vice President, Chad Anna Bennett, and Spirit of Martin Luther King Award winner, Joe Hernandez. Next, we'll visit our business management curriculum and the Delta Collegiate newspaper. To conclude today's show, we'll preview the President's Speaker Series and visit the Library's Teaching and Learning Center. Delta College recently hired Chad Inna Bennett as its Vice President of Student Empowerment and Success. Chad brings with him a wide variety of experiences working with students, faculty, and staff. We are very excited that he chose Delta College to come and share his talents. Let's learn more about him. Chad, welcome to Delta College and to Dateline Delta. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Could you tell us about your career and educational background? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I kind of like to talk about them in tandem because my undergrad is in biology and chemistry. I was actually going to be uh, a dentist, um, but, but I've now worked in education for over 21 years. Uh, so from Lake State, uh, when I earned my bachelor's degree, I actually worked up there as their director of housing and residential life. Um, and then from there, I moved on to North Central Michigan College where I became the director of housing and student activities. Uh, I was there for eight years during that time. I worked on completing my master's in counseling. Um, so I have a master's in counseling and a limited license professional counselor. Um, and after that, uh, I got married in 2008. Uh, and so my wife and I were looking for the next uh, step in my career. Uh, and we moved to West Shore Community College in Ludington, uh, where I served as the dean of, of student services for a little over 14 years. During that time, I began my PhD, uh, and I'm actually currently all but my dissertation, so I'm working on my dissertation now, uh, and that's through uh, Western's PhD program in higher ed leadership. Um, and like I said, uh, 21 years in higher ed, which uh, again, always makes me smile a bit since higher education or education wasn't really the goal, um, but it's interesting how life changes and the experiences that you have and the passion I fell, uh, fell in love uh, with uh, community colleges and what we, what we do for our students and how we serve students. Great. Your title is Vice President of Empowerment and Success. Could you tell us a little <laughs> bit about your role at the college? Sure, so I sort of like the title uh, explains, uh, the, the department is really looking at how do we serve students better, um, not only in terms of uh, helping them from starting, uh, being a prospective student, learning about Delta, all the way through graduation. So if you can imagine during that student journey, uh, there's lots of things that occur, uh, life situations. Um, so we oversee uh, not only the getting students in the classroom, helping them register and stay on track with their program, uh, but we offer services as well, such as counseling, um, uh, disability access resources, um, uh, oh geez, uh, the, list, the list goes on and on, uh, food pantry. Um, and uh, so with that, uh, again, the goal is to empower students to be successful, uh, but we help make sure that they get there uh, with the right guidance and, and information. Can you tell us what's on your to-do list for the next year? and? and what you're looking at for the future? Sure. So I think uh, the first thing on the to-do list is we're actually looking at a number of partnerships. Um, one of the things that we realize is that uh, we want to be all things for students, but it can be difficult to do that. And so the only way for us to grow in our resources uh, and to make sure that we're serving all of our students the best that we can, we have to partner. So we're looking at different partnerships in terms of counseling services, um, supports for our students on campus, um, and really looking at how can can we um, create the space that students need to be successful? Um, 
in terms of kind of moving forward, uh, one of the things that uh, all of the SES department is looking at is the student journey. Um, and in particular, looking at again from that onboarding all the way to graduation and uh, we've got a lot of work cut out for us to make sure that um, we understand all of our processes what what are our outcomes what are we looking for how do we assess that students are getting those 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 needs met that we're trying to reach um, in addition to that uh, we're going to make things much easier for students i've always believed that um, the the hardest thing for students should be the work in the classroom right and their life and everything else uh, should should not uh, be able to interfere with that education we know it does and so how do we get out in front of that how do we support our students through those needs um, and making sure again that students know where to go to get the information that it's brief and to the point so that they can get right to what they need to do uh, and then ensuring that they have the ability to do what we're asking uh, with the right resources uh, what's your impression of Delta so far in the Great Lakes uh, Bay region. Yeah, so I gotta tell you, Delta has just been warm and wonderful. Uh, the folks uh, from the president to the president's cabinet to all of the, the staff and, and faculty, uh, I've been in thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the folks uh, that I've met. They all want what's best for students and that's really exciting. I think uh, the sky's the limit in what you can do when people have their heart in the right place. Um, in terms of the Bay Region, oh man, we're loving it. Uh, one of the reasons uh, why we looked at Delta as well was uh, my wife and I have two young boys uh, and we wanted them to be able to experience life more to the fullest. Um, and so since we've got here, both my boys are, are reveling in the fact that they have, they're living their greatest life here uh, in the uh, Great Lakes Bay region uh, just as I have found people at Delta to be warm and wonderful the community is the same way uh, it's been a long time uh, since I could walk into a store or a local place and have folks just engage in a conversation and that's really cool because it allows me a chance to really share with folks uh, a little bit more about Delta and what we offer uh, and really the goal is to make uh, Delta the, the first choice for uh, our communities and beyond and, and I look forward to that and, and feel we're in the right place and the right time to do those things. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me again. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a national holiday that offers us a chance to celebrate the life of the legendary civil rights activist. Every year, Delta College presents the Spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Award to an employee whose service to the institution and community exemplifies the spirit of Dr. King's work and values. Let's meet this year's recipient. This is the 20th year that black faculty and staff have awarded the Spirit of MLK Award. We typically award this to a person who shows dedicated service to Delta College, as well as the wider community, someone who gives of their gifts and talents to help those around them, and who has strong moral character. Today we're gonna to take a look at this year's winner, Joe Hernandez. Thanks for being here today, Joe. You're this year's winner of the Spirit of Martin Luther King Award winner. How does it feel to win this award? It's an honor to win the award. When you think of what the Spirit of Martin Luther King would mean, you know, it's a man that actually, you know, was a doer of the word. You know, he's seen some injustice and he, and he put steps to it to make that difference. And it's like, just like myself, when I'm in the world here, I start to see different things in different people or in our society that actually are deficiencies. So what I do is I try to do whatever I can with, you know, with, with my limited power or whatever I have there to actually um, help them. So in that same instance, it's just an honor to receive that award. And I also think about other people in the past that have won the award Monica, Hernandez, uh, Ray Gutierrez, and John Neal, and those are people that I know personally and we've done a lot personally, that's why I bring them up. There's a lot of others in there as well, but when I think of the whole spectrum of it, those are all people that I respect highly, so it's an honor. You're definitely a part of a pantheon of heavy hitters. Uh, part of the legacy of MLK was what we do for others. What are some of the projects you've participated in at Delta College and in the community? Um, some of the ones was I helped chaperone with uh, Possible Dream with Dorian Phelps. Um, so that was a, a really cool experience to get to meet K 
kids and young people that are not in college yet, but they're college bound or being aimed in that direction. And they expose them to different uh, experiences that they may not normally experience, you know, if they didn't go through that program. So it was a very nice thing. Um, I also work with Men of Delta with uh, John Neal, which was amazing. We did that, we've done it for two or three years. And through that process, it was nice because we got to meet a lot of guys. We were able to help a lot of guys. So I think in those instances as well, it was uh, very nice to um, share the faith with John Neal um, in that endeavor. Joe, uh, share your favorite quote from Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King said, I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. And that was it for him. He, was, he showed the love of Jesus to people. And another one that really stuck along with me besides that one was, everybody is somebody. So it's like when I deal with either homeless people, when I deal with people in jails and prisons, a lot of those guys, because they were taken out of society, feel like they were ostracized. And they were, in a sense, you know, uh, by societal norms. But in the process of that, getting them back to this world, once they're done, they serve their time. You know, once they're, you know, back into society, they're back there again. But most people never forget their history. So to really emphasize that, you know, when he said everybody is somebody, it's important. Yeah, that's powerful. It's no secret that faith was really a guiding light for Martin Luther King. Uh, how has faith been helpful for you? Oh man, it's been everything for me. It's been my whole purpose in life. Um, you know, I get up, I think about how my kids can better be, can better serve God and Christ. You know, I think about it with everyone I encounter. You know, how can I help you? Because the scripture says love and indeed and in truth, not just in talking. So it's not about just agreeing with people about different ideologies, it's, but it's about what am I doing with it? How am I helping people with my deeds? And then how am I also bringing them the truth? So it's not just a one-sided thing there. It's two things there that I'm actually doing simultaneously with people, with everyone I encounter. Incredible. Thank you, Joe. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. A business management degree from Delta College provides students with the knowledge and skills needed to adapt to a rapidly changing global marketplace. We recently spoke with Don Fairchild, Professor of Management, about this program. At Delta, we have five different programs that you can get in the business management degree. Uh, we have entrepreneurship, general management, marketing management, and then you can get a cosmetology management degree after getting your license in cosmetology. And we also have a three plus one degree where you can get, uh, take three years here at Delta College and one year at Northwood to get your bachelor's degree. Whether you earn an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, it depends uh, individually on the student. At the associate's level, the classes that you're going to take are going to be broad classes your general ed, which will also be required in your bachelor degree. In the management program, you'll receive introductory and principal type courses, principles of management, for example, where you're going to cover a lot of different topics, but not very much in depth. Once you go on to your bachelor's, let's say we have a lot of students who their job requires the bachelor's degree, so they'll go on and the classes they take for their bachelor's then will be much more in-depth. So for the communication topic and principles of management, they would have an entire class on management communication. Statistics do show that if you have the higher degree, a bachelor's degree, you will probably make more money, but not every job requires it, even in management. The number of students we have in our management program is roughly around 350. Those include full-time and part-time students, and as well as online and face-to-face. -face. We do offer our marketing management, our general management, and our entrepreneurship programs as fully online courses. And we do have a cohort, actually, for the general management online program. 
One of the biggest benefits of the management program here at Delta is that we keep our courses very up to date. We use a lot of hands-on in within our courses. For example, we've just revamped our entrepreneurship program and added a certificate as well where students can come in and at the end of one year for the certificate can have their own e-commerce business up and running. So we try and be very innovative with the management, keeping it up to date and current and relevant. Having a management degree, it can be very beneficial for any student who has an interest in the business industry. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at the email address on your screen. The Delta Collegiate is a student-run newspaper published here at Delta College that recently moved its operations to a new location here on campus. To learn more about the newspaper and its recent improvements, we spoke with Crystal McMorris, Associate Professor of English. The Delta Collegiate began publishing in 1961, serving the campus community since the year the college opened, and more than 600 staff members have served on the Delta Collegiate staff since it began, um, many of them going into media careers, broadcasting careers, and other career, uh, illustrator careers, and other careers all around the state and the nation, and they got their start right here at the Delta Collegiate. So the print product comes out once a month, usually a 16 to 24 page newspaper, but it, we're a 24-7 news organization. So we, almost every day there's new content on our website, deltacollegiate.org. To put the paper together, we do have a, an elite group of students that come together um, to bring the news and educate the community on different aspects, whether that's photo, video, print, online, or social media. My role within the paper is a journalist, so I'm given interesting topics to kind of write about and get the students engaged with. My interest from journalism kind of grew from my English language arts teacher in 10th grade, and then from there I was able to get the opportunity to work with Professor Lauren Smith, and she kind of got me more into journalism. My role with the Collegiate is a blend of between journalism and being an on-camera personality. I enjoy both very much. The Delta Collegiate draws students from all different majors and the focus is on giving them the experience of running a news organization that is excellent and although excellence is its own reward, the students have been consistently recognized at the state and national level for their journalism, photography, and video products. In 2019, the staff of the Delta Collegiate was recognized for number one newscast in the nation and received the David L. Adams Apple Award. Although the Collegiate is student-run, they do have a faculty advisor, and so for the past seven years I've been able to work as advisor for the students and kind of guiding them, giving them suggestions and resources and encouraging them what kind of things they're going to cover, how they might want to cover them, uh, but they do have the First Amendment right to publish what they choose to publish and what write about what they want to write about. In 2020, uh, when COVID came, we became remote for a while, um, and then when we came back, we the beautiful new media wing here at Delta College was open, and we absolutely love our facilities. We're located conveniently right in the same area as uh, Delta College Public Media, which makes it very um, handy for collaborating and, and interacting with other news uh, gatherers. Um, and it's just been a really nice vibe. Uh, people are coming down just to hang out in the area and it gives our staff a lot more opportunity to interact. Journalism is important because that is how everybody finds out everything. Basically, our world is all online, so the biggest part of our job is getting the truth out there. And being a journalist really is about being non-biased and telling the truth because there's a lot of media outlets out there that are just not true. I just want to do a big thank you to Crystal for giving me this opportunity and from seeing that I was able to do something even from a high school level and giving me just the chance to do this. 
So it's really been a thrill working with so many different talented students across, um, over the years and um, it's just, it's just really fun to be a part of their energy and their dedication to seeking the truth and reporting it. Um, and I just encourage anybody that's interested in what's happening at Delta, whether you're a student or not, to check out deltacollegiate.org or follow the Delta Collegiate on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok <laughs> and Twitter. And next time you're on campus, pick up a print issue of the Delta Collegiate. Student run since 61. For more than 20 years, Delta College has brought unique individuals to our campus as part of the President's Speaker Series. On Wednesday, February 22nd, we will welcome ABC News veteran John Quinones for his special presentation in the Pioneer Gym. We spoke with David Baskin, Professor of Psychology and Co-Chair of the President's Speaker Series to learn more about Quinones. Delta College is excited to welcome John Quinones to our college campus on Wednesday, February the 22nd at 6 p.m. in the Pioneer Gym as part of the President's Speaker Series Committee. John Quinones has been a longtime host of ABC's What Would You Do program. It's ran for more than 14 seasons now, and over that time he has won seven Emmy Awards for the work that he has done on the program. John is a widely respected reporter, a longtime journalist, and host of ABC's What Would You Do? For more than 20 years, Delta has hosted the President's Speaker Series where we've brought acclaimed speakers to our campus. We've hosted Nobel Prize winners, astronauts, mountain climbers, journalists. Uh, we've hosted a Purple Heart recipient and uh, a wide variety of people who have come to campus to share great information with us and it's always a really exciting event uh, seeing this many people come to campus and people get to hear from these amazing uh, world renowned speakers. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity and we hope everyone can come. Uh, as always it is free and open to the public and so we hope that you come and we hope that uh, you bring some friends along too. For more information please visit Delta's website to learn more about the President's Speaker Series. The Teaching Learning Center and the Ritz Center are a walk-in service that allows students to get tutoring in various subjects as well as writing support. From math and science to humanities and social science, the Teaching Learning Center is a great resource for academic success. We spoke with Daniel Peterson, manager of the Teaching Learning Center, to learn more about the services they offer. The TLC stands for the Teaching and Learning Center. Um, we offer a variety of services to currently enrolled Delta College students, such as content area tutoring, so tutoring in specific subjects, academic coaching sessions, which are talking with learning consultant about how to learn, study, and take tests at the college level, a variety of workshops on learning and study strategies, nursing math, and a variety of other areas that we help out with as well. We have a variety of learning consultants with very high qualifications from associate's degrees to bachelor's degrees, master's and even doctoral employees as well. For students who would like to use the Teaching and Learning Center services, they can either make an appointment, which is strongly encouraged, so they get a, a dedicated 45 minutes with a learning consultant, or they can drop in. And if a consultant is available for that class at that time, they'll see them at that moment. This is a free service for all of Delta currently enrolled students. If they sign up for an appointment and are going to meet with a learning consultant, it's a great idea for them to bring their textbook, their lecture notes, and any other course materials that they have for the class. We typically see between 250 and 450 students each semester, which is about between 3% and 5% of Delta students. Right next to the TLC is the RIT Center, which is the Writing, Reading, and Information Technology Center. In the RIT Center, we help students with writing consultations for their papers for their classes, lab reports, research papers, and we also help with reading strategies for reading textbooks, novels, a variety of different genres. Sometimes teachers require their students to come to the RIT Center and then usually once students have that experience with us, 
they return again. They find it very helpful and return for uh, more sessions with our consultants. We also have an online service in both the Teaching Learning Center and the RIT Center. So consultants can meet with students online in a Zoom session or students can submit questions or their papers for feedback in our online submission form. These are really great services that help students to be successful in their courses and they're free. Feel free to contact us with the information on the screen and we'll set you up with a learning consultant so you'll be on your way to success at Delta. I'd like to thank Danielle and her staff for the work they are doing to help students succeed. Now let's see what's on the Dateline Delta calendar of events. The Delta College Planetarium will be hosting a series of shows during the month of February. For more information about these shows and events happening at the Planetarium, visit their website at delta.edu slash planetarium. Delta College will host a FAFSA completion event on Monday, February 13th from 5 till 7 p.m. in room A135. For a complete list of items to bring, contact Delta at 989-686-9080. The Delta College President's Speaker Series welcomes John Quinones to campus on Wednesday, February 22nd starting at 6 p.m. Mr. Quinones has worked at ABC News for over 30 years and is host and creator of What Would You Do? The event is free and open to the public. For further information on these events or other campus activities, contact the Office of Marketing and Public Information at 989-686-9490 or visit our website at delta.edu. Well, that wraps up our show. Please join us again on February 19th when we will highlight what's happening here at Delta College, one of America's leading community colleges. For Dateline Delta, I'm Dave Morley. Thanks for watching. Local productions seen on Delta College Public Media are made possible with support from viewers like you. Thank you.